Hey guys, welcome to the 33rd part in this Python series for beginners and in this one we're going to be talking a little bit more about JSON and getting that response back from the Google API that we've been working with and I did say I'd work with the JSON module but I thought instead I'd do something that is actually going to benefit you more with working with JSON in a sort of more realistic sort of situation and we're not actually using the JSON module as such but we're dealing with JSON uh, significantly and I thought to demonstrate that I'd build a simple application throughout the next couple of videos so that you can build something that's practical and sort of really kind of useful and cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it and I'm going to show you the application before we start to build it just so that you know what we're going to end up with at the end of it. So we've got this uh, Python shell and it's running the program so I can type in any address here or I can type in a postcode or a zip code for Americans and uh, so I could type uh, 95130 which is an example of an American zip code in in the sort of Bay Area and so it prints out this URL which is saying uh, okay go to the uh, Google APIs dot com uh, address and give me back all the data it can find related to uh, this uh, zip code that I passed in. So it's just got me the address and it's formatted it down here and then it says restarting and then it's going to ask me again. So I could do something else, I could type in something like an airport and it's going to be clever and it's sort of going to analyse that and it's going to say okay well what's the best sort of response I can come up with with that. So it's found that that's sort of similar to London Heathrow Airport so it's giving me all that data back and this is all coming from the Google API and that's getting a JSON response back when we provide this Google API URL uh, specifically with our particular query uh, so we're sort of querying the API and asking it to return specific data based on the input we've provided so to do this let's go ahead and get started I'm going to create a new file I'm going to save it as a JSON API and I'll just save that in my folder and so what we need to do first is define the URL that it's going to be communicating with with uh, Google so I'm going to say main API is equal to and then I'm just going to define a string and I'm going to say uh, this is the Google API URL that we need to query, at least the main part of it. It's not the whole URL yet, because remember we have to say address is equal to something, but we don't know what that something is yet, so I'm going to leave that off for now, because that's going to be dynamically added, and I'll show you how to do that. So, what I'm going to say is URL is equal to this main API URL, and then plus, and then I'm going to use a module here called URL lib and in Python 3 it's slightly different to Python 2 so just bear in mind this tutorial series is for Python 3 but if you want to change it slightly or just figure it out on your own you're welcome to backport it into Python 2 uh, and it, w it will work with a little bit of code modification so uh, don't give up if you are trying to use it in Python 2 for whatever reason uh, it's going to work eventually but I'm going to show you in Python 3 so in Python 3 it's urllib.pass dot url encode so and then this takes a dictionary I'll explain this in a minute don't worry and it's gonna say address and then the value of the address is gonna be uh, it's eventually gonna be a variable that the user is gonna enter and then we're gonna pass that in to our Google API request but for now I'm just gonna say address and then I'm gonna set the address uh, equal to let me just define address and then I'm going to say it's equal to LHR so that's going to give us that response for London Heathrow like you saw in the last video hopefully so uh, if we look at that response I've just gone to that URL here we can refresh this or whatever and this is the JSON response that we're going to get back from the API when we go to this URL it's going to take this main API which is this string here and then it's the URL lib dot pass dot URL encode is going to add on the string that says uh, address is equal to LHR but what's good about this URL encode function or method within this module is going to be that it 
is going to deal with all the stuff like if if it's got spaces in it for example it's it's not allowed spaces in the URL so if we had like this for example then it's going to be encoded with a percent twenty. Now that's a standard sort of symbol for a space in URL. So if you want to enter a space, you'd normally do uh, percent twenty. But if you want to do multiple terms in your search query, you could do something like San Jose, for example, like that, and then you get information on that. So that's how you could do two words. And what's good about this is that that is all taken care of for us, so we don't even have to worry about it. All we say is pass in the address and we'll deal with all the encoding. So that's what that does, which is really, really useful that we don't even have to worry about that with the percent %20 or the plus or anything like that. So at the moment URL lib isn't defined, so we're going to need to import this first before we can do, before, we can, before this is actually going to work. So I'm going to say import URL lib dot pass. So that's going to allow this, allow Python to know what this is in reference to, uh, otherwise it just wouldn't know. So now we have this URL value, and this URL variable is going to contain the entire URL, so this main part plus the address and our parameter, which is currently set to LHR, and it's not doing anything at the moment. So we need a line of Python to say, right, go to this URL, and then get the JSON response back. So the way we do that is I'm just going to say JSON data is equal to requests, and this is another module which I haven't imported yet, dot get URL, and then I'm going to say, so this is going to get the response from the URL, but we need to convert that to the JSON as well. So this is all built into the request module, which I'm going to import again here. And these are the only two modules that we're going to need to import to make this application work, as you see here in our example. And right now, we should just be able to do print JSON, and we should get the response back from the API. So I'm going to save and run this, and then we'll see what happens. So this is the actual JSON dictionary, so you can see it starts here, and it's got the keys and values in it and then it ends here. So this is the whole lump of JSON data that we've just got back from the URL. You can see it's formatted slightly nicer here, but it's the same response. Well, if I change this to LHR, then it's the same response that we got in here. So I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to carry this on in the next video, but hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how you can communicate with an API in your Python application, and in the next one we're going to be talking about uh, how to get the data out of this ugly sort of JSON format. So it's actually surprisingly simple and I'm going to cover that one in the next video.